Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. General reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars where we are going to Philly, where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and entirely free and exclusive to annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and front row seating. While most charge for these events, we share our support by making it free again for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event or any event going further, DM T Bradley 90 in Slack and or email myself at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now today we have a very special video for you guys as I did my weekly new member orientation webinar and we, while it's usually exclusive, we opened it up to the public today and at the end of it, I brought Bao on and it was a lot of fun. We talked all about MIC, we met the team, we did our MIC website navigation, pricing, taxes, video library, uh, the two separate logins with MIC. We showed an MIC archive, the kind of grand opening of that that's coming soon, our Slack platform walkthrough. Uh, starter pack, PL calendar, and grading trades. We uh, talked about moderator calls, how to DM us, how to get in touch with us, and we did a very fun QA at the end. All right. So, guys, welcome to um, basically what's called a new member orientation webinar in which we do every single week, uh, every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, obviously. Um, so glad you guys are here. If anything, you know, we put these together, guys, because we want to create not only a first impression for MIC, but we want to show you guys, you know, why you're here, you know, why you're paying us and, and how we can help you. And basically, when we created MIC, you know, we had a vision of, of basically creating a club and creating a family, creating a community. It was, it, we hate the word, you know, subscription. We hate the word almost even, I mean, it is a chat room, but we, it's so much more than that. And it really is a network of people networking together after the same goal. So one of the things that we do each week is just kind of show you guys the ins and the outs and how to officially use the platform that we, um, that we currently use each week, which is a lot of fun if you know how to use it. And that's why I'm here today. So, you know, one of the number one things that other places don't do, I'm, I don't name names in this, well, we have no hate against anybody, but you know, one of the things that we wish we had in other places when we started learning was, you know, like meet the team, you know, how do you use the platform that you're, that you're representing? Like, let me see the moderators, like what's their style? Like, can I talk to them? Can I do a Q and A? So that's why we're here today, guys. So let's get started. I just wanted to introduce the team really quick. There's obviously myself, T Bradley 90. Um, I'm definitely a short bias trader. I, I swing a lot each week, probably three or four times. Uh, conviction swings sometimes. Definitely an intraday trader. We have Bao. Uh, we have Alex. These men need no introduction, of course, the legends. Uh, hold on one sec, guys. Bao, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me okay? The audio should be pretty good. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it sounds like I'm underwater, really? Hmm. I'm not doing anything different than any other week. Can any, is anybody else having the same issue? Type it in right here in the new member channel. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, cool. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me. So let's get into this. So, so first off, guys, let me introduce some of our moderators in chat who are helping you in creating content each week. So first is Aloha Trader. His name is Austin, and he lives in Hawaii. Poor son of a bitch with that time zone, man. I, I more power to him, man. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. He's a fantastic long and short bias trader, and he puts together daily recaps each week it shows you how to capitalize on maybe, you know, short squeezes and how to get these big massive moves that, you know, a lot of short bias traders are either avoiding or not taking advantage of. So he likes to play both sides and uh, definitely get on a call with him, you know, in chat guys, pick his brain, DM him. We do calls daily, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, next is Chicago trader. This is the man, the myth, the legend behind SEC filing. So if you guys have heard terms like warrants, ATM shelf, shelf restrictions, S3 effect, whatever would what have you. He is the wizard who puts together the how-to series on fun, fundamental, you know, the DD of, of, the, of the trading world and how to get into 
SEC filings and really break them down. So Matt's your guy there, Chicago Trader. El Deuterino created a, I'm actually going to split this up a little bit, guys, because I want to show you right now exactly what he created. But El Deuterino is the creator of the MIC secretary in chat to my left. So right here, guys, this is the MIC secretary. It's an app. It's a bot. It gives us everything down from downloadable content like our MIC starter pack, um, which is a cool, you know, I'll open that a little bit later, uh, report cards. You know, it gives links to things. It gives dates and combined with links that also have pertinent information, whether it's weekend mentoring, which I'll get into later, uh, videos, it, it's, it's a halt tracker. So if something, if something like say OBLN, you know, has a big circuit breaker halt and it goes through in chat, then the MIC secretary bot is literally going to alert us right here in like a red line of, uh, of text and say that, you know, OBLN is halted at, you know, so-and-so, whatever, what have you at certain time. So it's just really cool. It's kind of like a guiding hand. It's like our angel of MIC. Next guy is James Freelander. He is a Bostonian, dude, Bostonite, however you say it, but he lives in Boston. He's one of my good buddies, a personal training partner of mine. Uh, James is literally one of our best organic, natural testimonials, man. This guy, um, he, he was inconsistent before MIC. He came through absolutely obsessed over our video library, which I'll show you guys in a sec, and just basically watched everything three times over. And now he's making sick money, man. He's a business owner of like three haircuts, you know, barber shops in Boston. But the kid is like, it seems like he's making more money trading now. He's an absolute phenom. So I love this guy to death. Shout out, James. Next guys, we have Joe Kelly. He's our head moderator when it comes to data tracking and technical analysis. He puts together our weekly, um, how to series on anything down from trade data tracking, Excel spreadsheets, and uh, a couple videos, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Oliver Tan is the creator and runner of our shop, our memorabilia, a great dude who lives in Chicago. And Sam is kind of like a personal assistant and helper of Alex on the side because he's local to Alex and lives in New Jersey. So shout out Sam. They go, they uh, frequent Hooters and you can find them frequenting Hooters in New Jersey all the time. So <laughs> hit them up. All right, guys, so now that we're on the website, I just kind of wanted to go through these things and show you guys exactly what we have at MIC, what we offer, and actually, let me bring this down. Let me just kind of show you guys the ins and outs. So first things first is our tax planning. This is, or actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk about our pricing first and then I'll get into the tax planning. So we have three options at MIC, guys. The, the first one is obviously the monthly, the month, the month, which is just basically, you know, it, it's the standard, you know, if you can't afford, say, the annual or lifetime options, which are obviously better for the long run, especially if you plan to be here a while, then monthly is great. And we almost include everything in the monthly. Next is going to be the annual. If you pay $17.90, you're basically getting, uh, you're basically only paying for 10 months and you get the year. So it's just a really cool kind of like bulk way to save money. And the difference is that annual and lifetimes have access to special perks. So, you know, when we do a boot camp, guys, which is coming up, we're doing our uh, Philly event, our one year anniversary on August 17th, where Bao is literally going to be trading live. Uh, annual, it's exclusive to annual and lifetime members. So, guys, if you are a monthly currently, then you're going to need to switch over as it is limited um, exclusive seating. I wish we could bring a thousand members in because we're basically at a thousand members, but guys, we just can't. I mean, it's, it's crazy how um, expensive these events are. It's, it's crazy how much it costs to just fit 300 people in, let alone, you know, a thousand. So we're definitely making it exclusive for these guys. And if you want to sign up, then just uh, email me at tosh at my or DM me in Slack. And second, guys, with the lifetime option, you are, this, is, this has a couple perks as well. So not only are you going to be able to go to the event, you are also going to be able to have guaranteed front row seating in a room full of a lot of people. And if you show up about an hour and a half to two hours early, we're going to open it up to specifically our lifetime members uh, for just, you know, preset coaching. And, you know, me, Alex, my, my sub bow, you know, some of our moderators, we're going to be there. Just sit you guys down and see what's wrong with your trading. See if we can help it, you know, uh, get in touch with just, it'll, it'll be a really cool kind of like almost, almost romantic experience in the sense that this will probably be a little smaller group than the whole room um, that we'll be speaking to eventually. 
uh, come August 17th, which will be super fun. So I can't wait, guys. I can't wait to meet our members. We fly around the world. All We've been to Hawaii, guys. We've been in New York. We've been to San Diego, LA, literally Orange County. We've been everywhere, guys. And now we want to, we just went to Dallas, um, an event sponsored by our broker of choice, which is Cobra Tra- Trading. Shout out Chad Hessing, which I'll introduce a little bit later. But it's cool, guys. It's, just, it's a way to shake hands. It's a way to meet you. It's a way for you guys to uh, see us in person and pick our brains as much as you can. Party with us a little bit. I know Bao uh, Bao definitely likes buying members drinks at the bar. I love that. You got to be of age. Uh, but most importantly, guys, um, this it, it's a very lonely business that we're in, right? So the thing about MIC, and then I'll get into the next subject, is you know this is a lonely profession, man. We are not able to see other people unless we make friends and network. And one of the number one things about MIC, which I'm going to get into a little bit later on the tab program is we recommend you talk to people. We recommend you network. We recommend that you have a buddy to trade with each day. I've got two buddies, you know, James is one of mine, Bao and Alex have each other. And it's a community where you can literally meet your fellow trader. And that's why we fly to all these places guys. So you can meet us in person, but not only us, it's not about us. There's no hierarchy to MIC. It's not that Bao is better than Alex or I'm better than Joe. It's not like that. Everybody's after the same goal, doing the same thing, and we're just here to support each other. So it's for you guys to meet each other. That's the power of the club. So next, guys, is the tax planning. I want to introduce this really quick as we partnered with Brian Rivera. He's a dear friend of my own. He's a very calm, collected fantastic trader in his own right. Um, There's no better person to handle your taxes than a trader who is not only, you know, a trader, but he's good at what he does and he understands things that can save you a lot of money if you, if you have the wrong account, right? Like you need the right guy. He can save you a lot of money by just things on like the wash sale rule. So, you know, definitely pick his brain in chat guys. We have different, uh, we've got like base entry levels down to like S corps, LLCs, I'm not a tax man, so he's going to be your guy to contact, but he's in chat and I will show you how to contact him soon. Next, guys, is the testimonials page. I want to make this very clear. Um, If anybody, you know, a friend or a family member, anybody who's just interested in MIC, direct them to our um, IG page as these are all 100% organic, natural, no actors, no paid anything, none of that BS, man. We don't need any of that stuff. It's not about the money at MIC, it's the process, and it's about real trading and real members. So any of these guys, got, you know, see their journeys, see what they're saying. These are all members that, you know, we, we shout out all our members doing good, even the members who are not necessarily doing good right now, but are learning and following their process, because it's not about the guys making millions of dollars, man. It's just, dude, are you following your process each day? Whether you're paper trading, whether you're real money trading, dude, it's a learning community. We're all helping each other. And this is a great place to see what the members are saying and their experience within it. So definitely check this out, guys. Refer to anybody who is interested. All right, two more things I want to talk about on chat um, or on the MIC website, guys, before I click over to our new thing, which is called the MIC archive. And I'm so excited to show that to you. Uh, anybody raising hands, guys, don't worry. You can just type it out right here in the new member channel and I will see it. Okay, next thing. Next thing. So with when you join MIC, guys, I just need to make one thing clear is that there are two logins. I just don't want people to get confused. So if you go to the login page on the MIC website right here, this is not your Slack login. So when you sign up with MIC, it, it's obviously through LaunchPass, it's through Slack. You are going to get a Slack login which has access to everything, the cha- you know, the chat room, the video library, everything but this one thing. So if you go to the login on the MIC website, this is a little bit different. This is not your Slack login. You're going to literally sign up on spot. You're going to create a quick account, and this is specifically only for the blog section of the website. I want to make that very clear. This is a, So the MIC website login is literally only for blogs right there. But I do we recommend that you guys participate because Alex has a ton of wonderful blogs that you guys can open and read through just his thought process, his journey over the years. He's poured so much time into these. I remember when he was writing these, they're absolutely phenomenal. So guys, if you're new, definitely check these out and uh, create an account next, which is pretty much the last thing on the website guys is the video library. So if you are signing up with MIC, 
this is pretty much the holy grail of content. You know, this is, this is, this is the one, man. This is the one. So you're going to sign in with your Slack login. <clears throat> and let me speak to the new trader for a second really quick and just kind of give you guys a really quick formula for um, success of learning our strategy or at least learning how to trade in general. So guys, if you know nothing about trading. Like maybe you don't know anything about BWAP. You don't know anything about spreadsheets. You don't even know about supply and demand, you know, buy, sell, long trade. It doesn't matter. We've got every single resource covered for you guys and we've got it categorized now, which is super cool. So the first thing I want you guys to do is check out the Joe Kelly video series. And if you scroll back to the beginning, Joe goes into anything, anything that correlates to what you should know as a beginning, beginning trader, whether it's stock quotes, whether, you know, what's a buy, what's a sell, what's a long, what's a short, you know, all these, what's a cover, you know, all these things, order entry level two on the DOS platform, what are time and sales, you know, how to read that stuff, PDT and brokers, you know, what's a DMA broker versus a retail broker, uh, DOS layouts and charting, you know, how to download historical data. So basically everything guy. And the cool thing about Joe is his mind, man, it works so much differently than me. I'm really kind of a spur of the moment pattern recognition guy. Dude, Joe is the type of guy that you just give him an Excel spreadsheet and he will tell you everything that ever happened about a ticker within it and, and you know, categorize all the data, you know, open price, close price, where was VWAP. So he shows you guys how to do all these things. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with our famous lines strategy in which we talk about um, support and resistance lines. But most importantly, we talk about pivot lines and this is how to do it. So he's gonna show you also how to incorporate pivots, and you can find it right here, setting up lines within your Do oh, TOS charting, uh, Thinkorswim, and or DOS charting right here, guys. So watch these videos uh, as members if you wanna learn how to not only put these pivot lines on your charts, but maximize them to your uh, benefit. Next, guys, once you kind of master the Joe Kelly series and the, you know, the technical side of trading, I want you to go to the fundamental analysis side of the game. So like I said, Matt is the king of SEC filings. Um, here's, you know, what are ATMs? What are rights offering? Shelf restrictions. These are really, really important things, guys. I'm not necessarily a fundamental trader per se, but it's good to know these things or at least have a somewhat of a clear understanding of these before you attack each day because you might be longing the stock, guys, and you don't know that they have warrants at two dollars that they can exercise and they may do whatever they can to get it up there so say the stock's opening you know at 89 cents who knows if they're not trying to get it or manipulate it up to two so it's good to know where these things are specifically i'm sure you've heard s3 effects and why stocks can and or cannot do offerings which you never want to be caught in long so it's just things like these guys these little fine-tuned things that if you're a trader and you have a toolbox this is a way for you to just keep adding tools to your toolbox. So you can never stop learning, guys. We are literally, literally students of, you know, Val will say directly, you know, he said it many times, Val's been a student for 20 years, I've been a student for six, and we'll be students forever. We're always learning. Next, guys, once you kind of master these two, I want you guys to go to the daily recap section. This is Val Daily Recaps. So Val gives us his 20 years of experience whether it's low-hanging fruit, trusting the lines, uh, JMU long, CFI, CFIS backside short, he is going to give you sometimes live trading examples of his thought process going in the day and what he saw at certain points, whether it was a buy, whether it was a short, you know, our general process and what we teach at MIC and the strategies that we teach, whether it's, you know, we've got a structure to where on day one, you know, we like to focus on the first bounce side of stocks. Next, we like to focus on the death line strategy, which we tweet all the time and I'm sure you're familiar with. Or if you're in chat, then you hear daily in our main chat, which is actually right here. And you will see, which I will show you in a sec. But here's the thing, guys. Like, we have the resources for everything. So if you want to learn about front side and back side, hot keys for God's sake. So we don't recommend them, but <laughs> they are there if you want to learn them. We have an international broker, guys. So if you're in Canada or you are somewhere outside, you know, the States, then you can absolutely... Um, have access to shorts. You just have to find the right place. The tax planning, like I said, um, new members. Here's video for new members, setting up lines, hard stops. Here's our Philly event for 2019. Um, here's our New York City. So like I said, we travel the world. This is us in New York. 
we were talking, uh, we had Brett Steenbarger come out in a bar full of like 150 uh, people in New York who came out, members, non-members, speculative people. And this is just kind of a fly in the wall experience, guys, for you to see how much fun we have. Just what a, what a fun group and what a family MIC is. In fact, I think we threw out like, we flew out like about, what was it, like seven to eight or even nine uh, members and we took them to the New York Stock Exchange. Like who does that? Who does that, right? So really cool. All right, guys, on to the next thing. And this is kind of like almost like a little bit of a reveal to the open public. This is, this is huge. This is something we've been working on for a while. Um, it's still in its beta testing phase, but this is our MIC archive. Let me go back to the member channel. This is the MIC archive, guys. So anything that we have in our Slack platform is now backed up since basically, I think, October of 2018, so almost since the inception of MIC. And just to give you guys an example, these are what's called channels in our chat, as you can see right here. Like this is main trading chat, and then I'll go through each channel in a bit, but you can go through. So check this out, guys. So main trading chat. Actually, well, I should start off by saying this. If you go to the homepage, guys, and you can watch the tutorial videos. So when you do, when this is launched and you get access to this, which this is only only exclusive to annual and lifetime members. Monthlies will not have access to this. This is an annual and monthly thing. When this does launch, and this is part of your package, guys, you can watch any video on how to navigate this thoroughly. So uh, El Duterino, who created the MIC secretary, it helped by giving us how-to videos, but I'm gonna give you guys just a little quick introduction of what this is today. So not only is it a backup and archive of our entire chat in every single channel, you can go back to certain dates. So let me show you an example, guys. Let's go back to like April 2019, you know, right? April 3rd, 2019. Let's go there. Let's go to the main trading chat. And then this is going to literally be April 3rd, 2019. What was in main trading chat? What was in our after hours, which is a fun chat, you know? Alex puts a watch list up every single morning. So if you guys want to see tickers that ran on certain days and or who traded them or what was in play, then um, James, my trading partner of choice, and Alex are usually in here daily. Like, let's see Tuesday, right? Like, here's the, here's the watch list for Tuesday. I think this is the week Alex was off. So let's go to uh, February 6th. Yep, Alex posts his watch list every morning, man. You guys can go back, see it, write down these tickers, write his thought process of what he wanted. And you guys can learn from this and go, you know, back test on thinkorswim on demand or whatever platform you use it is to back test, or even just go back and screenshot the chart and, you know, just see what Alex saw, see what James saw, you know, see, then go to main trading chat and see Bao's commentary on what he was talking about at certain levels timestamp. Like, it's absolutely amazing, guys. Like, look at this. It's just, it's just unbelievable. So myself, Val, and Alex are all located, um, highlighted in yellow, and uh, moderators are highlighted in light blue. So this is, this is a game changer, guys. This is, this is a freaking game changer, man. And not only that, is you have a search tab. So let's see what was, let me go to the, let me go to the watch list and see what was, run, what was running that day. So like, MLNT, right? So if I go to the main trading chat and type in MLNT, let's see if it'll load. <clears throat> Again, we're still in beta testing right now. This is not launched to the open public. So if it stalls from time to time, guys, it's totally gonna be worked out and official soon. But uh, you, guys can, you guys can basically search by ticker you can search by username and it's just, it's, it's so unbelievable, but because that's not loading, let me try to get to the next part. Oh, there it is. <laughs> MLNT. So anytime MLNT was, Oh, like here's my chart on it. I didn't even remember this. <laughs> so anytime we posted something, guys, you can literally go back and see um, exactly what we traded or exactly what happened. You know, this is the line. These are the lines, the pivot lines that Bao talks about in his charts that he posts, which we teach in chat. Next is going to be, let me go to the homepage and show you guys community upvoted. So as you, let me go to the main trading chat and show you guys the, the similarities. So one of the big things about Slack guys and the way we're introducing this to the MIC um, archive is actually, let me see if I can find a weekend mentoring or after hours actually. So notice how we use a lot of emojis guys. We, they're called reactions in Slack. There's a lot of emojis. So what's cool 
is anytime these specific custom emojis are presented, you know, we have them down here, you scroll down, we have all of them in here. Anytime that they are voted, they're called what's called, you know, community voted. So if a certain amount of posts or, to, you know, comments or whatever get this certain check mark, then it is going to be bullet pointed and categorized in the MIC archive. So, like technical analysis. So, when you see this emoji a lot, it is going to get categorized categorized in technical analysis and then anytime something looks good or, or you know the community wants it in here it goes in here and then it's basically like a digital notebook for the masses but we didn't stop there and we wanted to you know give you guys categories but also give yourselves a my digital notebook so I have nothing in here personally guys because I'm still just beta testing this and messing around but I want to show you how it works so See this emoji guys right here, this handwriting emoji? Anytime you put this on a comment in, so I'll put it right here. So this is called what's adding a reaction in uh, any chat or any channel in MIC. So if you add a reaction, and let's see if I can find it real quick. If I add the handwriting emoji, this is the coolest thing about the archive. If I click it right here, see how that shows up? in two hours when MIC archive updates, because it updates in about every two hours, this comment is literally going to be in my personal digital notebook. And you can do that in any channel or anything in chat. And not only that is if I go back to, so, so you can do it directly from the, um, from the Slack platform and you can do it directly from the MIC archive. So say like, I don't know, just let's, let's go back to the watch list. Say I wanted to save all of Alex's watch list this day. If I click this icon right here, handwriting emoji, boom. I can add a note and say, you know, whatever date it was, right? Like, like the fifth. I'll just put fifth. And then I can save it. And then it will literally get saved directly. I don't want to save this one specifically, but it will literally get saved right into my digital notebook and I will have access and inventory of anything that I personally saved over the course of, you know, a year. So, you know, guys, you have access to, I think 2008 in October, you can go back. We have 10,000 forms of learning in MIC. Like I said, every resource, you, you guys just got to know how to navigate it and utilize it, which is cool. So we have that. All right. That's the MIC archive. I hope you guys understood that a little bit. I know I talk a little fast. Now let's get to, I wanna keep the structure flowing. Let's get to the Slack platform and basically what our chat room entails, whether you're not a member, you can kind of get a little bit of the ins and outs of what's going on. Uh, it was a bit of a slow day today, but let's talk about some things. So this is the main trading chat, guys. So when you have access to MIC, you have access to this, everything, of course, but um, this is the main one. So we have a lot of channels where you can have fun or, you know, talk about brokers, whatever, but this is the main trading chat in which you can talk about, uh, basically, we try to keep this business only. So anything that is, you know, pertinent for the day, like, you know, ears approaching previous uh, overhead resistance at 280, like that's cool, you know? Or we alert, you know, certain pump and dumps. If people do that, you know, we don't do that at MIC, but if a pump gets on our radar, like we're going to alert our people so maybe they don't get caught in, you know, in sheep chasers or something like that, you know. And like I said, we like to keep this business. Uh, myself, Bow, and Alex are pretty much the only people and a couple moderators who post charts in here. But if you do want to post charts, we also have a charts channel where you can learn from your fellow trader. And like, here's Joe's today. So here was Joe's plan. Here was his, you know, entries and exits. I think he uses TZ as one of his brokerages. So that's the platform for that. And he can literally give a thorough analysis of what he was thinking or what he did along his trade. And you can learn from that. So you can either learn from Joe, you can connect with Joe and whatever you want. And then we created an after hours channel guys. So this is one of the funnest parts about MIC. Like I said, because we are a family, because we want to meet each other, because we want to network, this is where all the fun happens. This is jokes, this is memes, this is what you guys have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, you know, what you do on your off time. Some people post pictures like their kids or their family or whatever, but this is, you know, myself, Bao, Alex, we're in here 24 seven, we're answering comments, and we do a lot of jokes at MIC. In fact, this is literally someone photoshopped Bao's face on Neo in the Matrix. And this is like a running joke that Bao trades so well 
and specifically in certain days that that was in the matrix. So we post this anytime and we also have emojis for this, which is super fun. So like custom and emojis or emojis, whatever you call these things. So this is the place to network and have fun guys. Next is going to be large caps and options. If you are not, if you are not a small cap trader, that is not a problem. If you are back testing on paper or learning about small caps while you come to MIC, but maybe you transitioned from big caps where you're comfortable, um, then we have a room for that. Where uh, we have a room for this, where you can literally network with your with your local large cap trader and options trader. Here's Brian, our tax guy. He's he loves big caps, like he's great at them. So you know, we've got people of every walk in life in here. You know, let's see. Next is going to be guys when we do a boot camp, we'll have information in here. Um, broker talk. This is really cool. So guys, like I said earlier, we partnered with Cobra Trading. Um, shout out Chad Hessing right here. He is the CEO and president of Cobra Trading and their sister brokerage or their sister company, which is called Venom Trading. So while Cobra may have, you know, a $25,000 or $30,000 minimum, uh, Venom has about a $5,000 minimum. So we wanted to make sure that everyone who kind of follows our strategies, whether you're long, whether you're short, we, we definitely go both ways every single day. We are not, let me make very clear, we are not just a short biased room. Um, and you want to get in touch with Chad, here's your guy. And you can direct message him by clicking it. So click his icon, direct message him or call up his brokerage specifically. And he's in our chat. You know, there's no cooler thing guys than to have your broker um, whoever you're brokered with, you know, in MIC chat to make sure you're cool, to make, sure, to make sure you're taken care of, to make sure you're getting the locates that you need. Or if you have a question, like if Cobra did have the locate that day, you can ask chat. You can ask him straight up. So he's in chat. And uh, here's our links, guys, for Cobra, uh, Venom, and also know that we have a 25% um, off our commission structure. So if you do switch over to someone say, you know, Cobra that we represent and tell them you're MIC and you're going to get some really good discounts, guys. You're going to save a lot of money on commissions. Next is going to be the daily report cards, guys. This is so cool when you're new. One of the number one things that we recommend when you're new is that you track your trades. So if you click download a report card and also P&L calendar, I'm going to show you guys these. So guys, this is a P&L calendar we made or one of our, one of our members made is community guys. I can't even remember who made this stuff. Our, our members make us stuff all the time, which is so fantastic. So guys, when you're new, you know, track your trades, put your green trades, put your red trades, put how much you gained or lost. I don't care if it's paper or not. You can see what you're doing wrong. And you can see if your average win is bigger than your average loss or vice versa and how to correct that in the future. Um, and then the next one is going to be report cards. So one of our moderators, Bear, created this. Shout out, Bear. This is one of the coolest things to track your trades. Uh, let's, uh, let's expand this. So this is cool, guys, because not only can you kind of like track the PNL or whatever, you can literally screenshot your DOS chart or Sterling or TZ, whatever you're using, and you can input it right here. So input your chart. You know, put the date of the trade, put your goals like, hey, OBLN ran today. I was planning on scaling the 170 line. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. But put your goals for the trade, write your report how you traded it, and then for mistakes in the trade. So, like, if you're like, oh, man, you know what? I made money, but I chased my ass off. Then give yourself a grading of, like, I don't know, like a C or, a, you know, a, maybe a B minus at best. Yeah, just because you make money, guys, is not necessarily good trading. You do not want to form bad habits in which we very much teach at MIC what not to do because we're all about process, whether you win or lose. It's about, did you stick to your plan? And most importantly, did you stick to the plan each day that not only makes you money, but makes you a better trader? You know, one of the number one things we got into recently, guys, is learning and setting up hard stops and very much utilizing them. Um, I, will get, I will get into this detail a lot later, but I will tell you, that after five years of however long I've been trading, I think it's five and a half years of bashing hard stops or never using them or thinking, you know, oh, I don't need those. I could not have been more wrong. I use hard stops on almost every trade now. Alex does too. Uh, Bao does during lull. And it is just the number one way to stay safe, guys. And you never, never incorporate those game-changing losses, which just wreck your confidence 
uh, going forward and you have a hard time, you know, trading even after that, especially your A pluses of what you know how to trade usually. It's all, it's all mental guys. It's all mental. So next guys, we have an education channel. We have a member appreciation. We put together a, uh, what's called map list, a member appreciation list. Um, just because, you know, guys, we have members that are just helping each other daily. We've got over a thousand members just in here answering questions, helping new guys and, MIC, whether you're a veteran trader or whether you're a brand new trader, there's going to be someone to answer your questions or help you, or maybe you can lend help to your fellow guy, which is super cool. Uh, next, guys, and I'm going to save this for last because it's one of my favorite ones. Um, next is member networking. So, you know, member photos and videos. We've got a ton of photos posted in here regularly. This was us and why. <laughs> Alex, <where I'm, laughs> he, he got laid, right? <laughs> This was super fun, man. That was such a fun bar. We had such a great time. So we post videos and photos in here, guys, so you can see us all the time. Uh, Dallas event. This was this is our recent Dallas event. This was a lot of fun. A lot of members came out and couldn't have been more fun, guys. In Dallas, in San Jose, uh, super cool, man. You get to you get to meet your fellow traders. Really an honor. Um, new member channel right here, guys. So at the end, when we do a Q and A, post your questions in here. But if you scroll to the top, and I want to show you guys this really quick. I want you guys to see the MIC starter pack. So when you sign up, if you know nothing about trading guys, this is one of the best resources that you have at your disposal. So me and Alex spent a couple months putting this together in the beginning. Um, there's anything down from a ton of lingo, you know, what's easy to borrow, what's EOD end of day, you know, what's an earnings report, you know, things like this, whether it's a lingo or a description of it acronyms and all and then we get into like the nitty-gritty of you know what are candlestick patterns you know how to read an open and close price you know what are bullish and bearish chart patterns uh we get into you know what's a stuff move what's support and resistance um we have a video on all this stuff guys but we also have the mic starter pack just for a quick analysis um stuff moves are one of the number one ways that me and Alex make money every day. And I think, you know, Bao loves them too. But stuffs are really like my niche in this whole game. So, you know, here's the basic tutorial of like what's a stuff move? You know, what's float rotation? What is VWAP? Um, what's a DMA broker and how to access it? So most people don't know when you sign up for a direct market access broker, guys, it's really all third parties usually. So you may have co you don't you may have Cobra trading, but then you're signing up with you know, DOS over Sterling or Sterling over DOS. And then you have a, sometimes you have a choice of clearing firms, but um, Cobra uses Wedbush and they're my absolute favorite. Uh, how to read tape guys. Uh, we get into supply and demand. We get into flow rotation, all just all the good stuff. Anything that you need to know as a brand new trader, we, we've got you handled. We've got you. Next is going to be questions for mods. If you have specific questions for mods, guys, post them in here. And if any channel is just blank, don't worry about that. It's because Slack just recycles out every three or four days. That is why we have the MIC archive to where nothing will ever be deleted. Next, we have swing trading. If you guys want to learn the long and swing side of the game, then Tay, one of our moderators right here, she's fantastic at the long and swing side of trading. She absolutely cleaned up on BPTH recently when it ran, made a fortune, and uh, she can show you her thoughts or what she's thinking and you can pick her brain all day. She's, she's so here for members. It's crazy. Next guys, obviously taxes, uh, watch the video. And if you need to contact Brian, like I showed you, he's right here and this is his channel. Tech support, trader locations, trading stations, um, VIP meetups guys. So this is the Philly event. This is how to register for the event. If you are coming and you are annual and lifetime. Next is watch list. So, so my three favorite, um, Channels I'm going to talk about right now before we get into the other stuff. So the first things first is watch list. Every single morning, unless you know Alex is on vacation, he is in here giving you guys a simple but very thorough watch list of what ran before, what is up on the day, and what he is looking at and at what certain level. Like legacy today, you know that ran yesterday. Um, same thing, ideally somewhere near the 40 and 45 for a short, you know CTRM. It's a low hanger. He is looking for the six to 650 range for a short. So we are going to guide you guys uh, each day on what we are looking at every single morning. We, we, we honestly, guys, we almost can hold you by the hand. Like we can almost show you guys what's moving down to the point of if you are in MIC, you almost don't even need to pay for a scanner. 
I mean, let me repeat that guys. I'm serious. Like I used to pay, I think, I don't know, whatever trade idea it was, hundred, 150 a month. I can't remember, but it was like, you know, over a hundred bucks a month. I canceled it recently after five years. I don't need it. Like literally dude, we've got a thousand plus members in here alerting stocks all day. We do not need like here's Bao with charts all day of what he's looking at. If something comes up on Bao scans, he's going to alert it to chat. So it's a great way for you guys to save money by, you know, canceling your scanners tomorrow and just being a part of MIC. All right. Next is going to be the weekend mentoring guys. This is one of my favorite parts about MIC. It's so much fun. Uh, every Saturday we, we work nonstop guys at MIC, like literally our team of moderators, mentors, we are working Monday through Sunday to produce content for you guys to make sure that you are learning and what is the best way to go about learning and or risking your capital and or not, or, you know, back testing or whatever it is we got you. So on Saturday we do a weekend mentoring one hour session. It's a Q and a, um, so from 1 PM Eastern standard time to two, or let's say, I think it's 10, my to 10 to 11, my time. Uh, in Los Angeles, we are answering your questions and, er and every single question, myself, all the moderators, Bao and Alex get in here every now and then, and it's a ton of fun. So guys, you can ask anything down to, you know, would bounces still work on a day two as long as there's a cap up and then you open this up and we will answer those. And then, you know, what's the be <laughs> best time of year to visit Hawaii? Like any question that you guys have, we will answer. And it's usually pretty business oriented. Like we usually um, you know, is it hard, is it hard stop always a market stop to get out or do you use limit stops? You know, we can talk about that and answer your questions and what we do and what works for us. So that's super cool. Uh, anybody who's raising hands guys, just write in the new member channel. And again, I will just write right here and I will get to all of your questions very, very soon. So definitely take advantage of the weekend mentoring guys. Um, and here are the dates for the previous weeks. So we do one every week we have since inception of the MIC. So if you want to see, you know, 2018, 11, three, boom, like this. And now you have a backed up data version of this back up everything. All right, next. So this is the last channel I want to get into guys, uh, before I start showing you kind of like, you know, the subtleties of Slack and how to also maneuver. But let's show you. So this is what's called trading accountability button. This is probably one of the most famous, most important things we've created at MIC outside of the, you know, the, the after hours chat or the MIC archive. This, like I said before, if trading is a very lonely business and you find, dude, I traded three years alone before I started reaching out and making friends. Some came and go, you know, I have new friends now, um, old friends in the past, old trading partners, and I love them all. And I got to tell you, I would much rather trade with a trading partner than, than be alone because you know, it's different perspectives guys. And not only do you either get a tab partner a trading accountability buddy for, you know, so D Oliver is my tab partner along with James. So I get on the phone with James and D Oliver every single day. We trade a roughly the same size. Um, we trade the same setups, you know, um, with little differences here and there. And what's cool is you can get a trading partner, not only to, to kind of see what you're seeing in the back of your thesis or tell you what you're doing wrong. You know, Alex has a running joke that, you know, Bao shouldn't trade after the first hour each day because he's so good in the first hour, but then sometimes we give back during lull. You know, this is some of the rules we teach at MIC. So Alex is like hitting Bao all day, like, dude, stop trading, stop trading. And Bao will like sneak trades, you know, behind our backs and break, break his own rules. And it's funny, man. But the point is, is Alex is there to kind of, you know, take a whip to Bao's hand and say, Bao, this is what works for you. I'm going to hold you accountable. It's up to you, but I'm going to tell you what works and make sure I'm kind of like that little devil and angel on the, uh, on the shoulders, right? Like one's telling you to do something. One's a FOMO angel. And the other one's like, no dude, you know, don't do that. Don't chase this. Don't revenge trade. <laughs> you know what works for you. Maybe leave right now, whatever it is, guys, it's really good to have a partner in crime. I have two we get on a three-way call and I've never had more, more fun in my entire life than trading with these guys because not only do we laugh, we joke. Um, it doesn't have to be a lonely profession. That's the whole point. Um, but they can hold me accountable. So when I do something stupid, they're like, dude, I don't agree with this. And I'll be like, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> so it's just, it's cool, man. It's just, we just have so much fun at MIC. 
So those are all the channels, guys. Those are all the channels. Now let me show you how to do specific things within Slack. So the first things first is what's called a, um, a direct message, right? A DM. So if you want to direct message, say D Oliver. D Oliver is our tab ambassador. So if you are brand new to chat and you are looking for a tab partner and you're like, shit, where do I, where do, how, how and where do I find one? You're going to you know, comment in here, hi, my name is Tosh, I'm looking for, I'm a short bias trader, I'm looking for a trader who also is short bias and who, I don't know, maybe trades 7,000 shares, you know, max or does this or whatever. And then I am going to hit up D Oliver, you're gonna direct message him, open up a line of communication, which comes down here to your direct messages and say, hey D, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm new here, my name's Joey, I'm looking for a tab partner, he is going to help you out. And also, we have two people and also our tab manager is going to be Woody. So let me pull up, this is what's called the directory guys, if you go to the right, click the, uh, the triple dot, workspace directory, and I'm gonna type in Woody. This is our tab manager, so if you talk to Woody as well, he can add, direct message him, he can say, Woody, I need help, man. You and D. Oliver, can you please help me find a partner? They are going to spend a lot of time until they find you a partner and you are going to be good to go. And you know, like I said, guys, you know, a lot of finding a tab partner can be up to you. You can go to chart recaps and see, you know, what people are trading, how they traded it. Like say, say I looked at Michael, you know, our lifetime member, um, and I'm like, wow, you know, I love the way this guy trades. Like, let me reach out to him and let me send a message to Michael and say, hey, Michael, like, I love the way you trade, bro. Um, what do you think about being my tab partner if you don't already have one? Whatever, you know, whatever it is. So also, let me show you guys this. So am I, uh, Slack is so cool, guys, in the sense that it's really personalized and it's really customizable, but it, it just has the best features. So if you guys want to talk to somebody on the phone and do kind of like a, it, it kind of works like Skype audio in the sense that we have a call feature. So we, the moderators, my, definitely myself included, um, all the moderators, we do calls every single day. And uh, what we do is here, let me bring this over here. What we do is we do daily calls. So I'm gonna get on the phone, you, you know, guys, from um, 2.30 to close Eastern Standard Time each day. And I'm going to make sure that I get like anywhere from two to seven people on the phone for 10 to 15 minutes a piece and really reach out to them and help them out and just say, look, I'm taking calls. Anyone that needs help, reach out to me. You know, some members that had a really bad day, they can send me their charts and say, you know, Tosh, what am I doing wrong? Uh, how do you use hard stops? What's your style in shorting per parabolics? What's, what's your style under VWAP? Whatever it is, guys, if you need help, you can get us on the phone Monday through Friday. And there's a certain time slot where all of our moderators, including myself, will talk to you. And we want to make sure that you're on the right track. Look guys, you pay us to teach you. We are going to teach you or at least, at least be there for you and, and be a shoulder to cry on if you need it. Like we are here for you guys. We are a team. There is never a stupid question that can be asked. We don't believe in that at MIC. There's no negativity. If you guys feel like um, maybe you're asking a dumb question, you're not, you're not. We all remember what it was like to be new. We all remember what it was like to know nothing. I remember back in the days I used to DM certain people like, what the hell's float rotation? I don't understand this. And it was the simplest thing in the world if you reach the right person who knows what they're talking about. So you can never send enough DMs, guys. My DMs are usually filled. Of course, I've already been through all them before this webinar and it's a slow day. But you know, never hesitate to reach out, guys. Seriously, to any of our moderators, especially myself, and also, if you have any questions about signing up, let me write this down in the new member channel. Any MIC related questions, email tosh at myinvestingclub.com. And I will always get back to you guys and make sure. And I've also got an email guy to help me out. So we've got two people on emails that are making sure that we see your emails and are getting back to you. You can DM our social media. We will 100% get to your questions, I promise. We're here for you guys, we're here for you. So uh, let's see, next I wanna show you guys how to customize channels. So if you click the top left corner, you click the icon, this is obviously myself, my, per my personal profile. If I click edit profile guys, this is me, Tosh Bradley, T Bradley 90. Uh, what I do is I short the pigs by the beasts. 
Um, if you want to add a phone number to Skype, you're more than welcome to. Uh, profile picture, you can add or remove a current image, um, save your changes, and then let's see, I showed you the directory. Now I want to show you guys how to do threads and reactions. So this is what's called a reaction, guys, at MIC. Like, you can click this smiley face and put an emoji. You know, if I want to reach out to somebody um, and put an emoji you know, what, what, next to what they said, I can also do that. So not only that, you can, you can add them to um, an existing, uh, let's see, like an existing comment. So, you know, Bao was saying my audio was bad earlier. Maybe it was his on his end. I don't know, but I could put something like, uh, you know, thank you. You know, like, thank you. I just figured that out or whatever guys like bacon, you know, we have a ton of funny ones. Here's Alex. Everybody has an emoji in MIC, right? Like even I have my own emoji somewhere around here. Uh, MIC, whatever you, whatever you guys want. And then you can take them off and add as many as you want. It's a lot of fun. So somebody puts a smiling face, Austin, I can put like a, you know, whatever guys, it's just a lot of fun. Then also, this is what's called a, a butt emoji. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> so next, guys, I can reply to even my own thread. So this is what's called opening up a thread, and I can say, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> who knows, guys? Whatever I want, right? And then what's called is you can open up the thread by clicking on this and see what the people say. I'm going to delete my own chat because that's just for the sake of teaching, but... As you guys can see, it's really customizable and it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to add to that butt emoji. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> Thank you, Aloha. Reach out to Aloha, guys. He did calls earlier today. He's fantastic on the long side. He's killing it, man. He's killing it. He's doing great. And he plays big caps. Um, let's see, guys. Next is, let's see. I showed you how to do DMs. I showed you every single channel. I showed you how to customize. Oh, okay. This is, let me, let me full screen this. This is really, really cool. So this is a search filter within MIC, guys. So let's go right here. If you want, to, so say you work a nine to five job, right? Um, say you work a nine to five job, you have no time to kind of be in chat, but you want to review each night. Maybe you only have the first hour of the day. Um, you can go back and search tickers and names of what people talked about. And every time it was mentioned, timestamp. So uh, what ran today? W, uh, R W L K was very perfect today and very popular. Oops, uh, very popular. Let's click this. Any time now that R W L K was talked about is going to be timestamp highlighted in order. So unbelievably sick. I love this. this. Is one of my favorite parts about MIC. Now, say you guys want to see what just Alex said, right? So check this. So let's say I want to see literally just what Alex said. Type in from colon and then you're gonna just gonna find their username or type it in yourself and let's let's pull Alex up. Now anytime Alex talked today, boom, right here, timestamp in order. You can go back, see more comments, you can see files. Um, you can you can literally click on Alex right here. You can go to this, go view files, and then see all the files he posted recently. Like, dude, check this out. So this is so cool. Alex just got a new trading setup. Look at his trading setup. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? I, I almost went vertical monitors, monitors like this, but I didn't. I don't know why. I think I had kind of like a corner desk, and I was like, you know what? Let me just stick with the monitors I have, but I'm going to probably upgrade here in the near future, and this is definitely the route I'm going. This is so freaking sick. So, you know, and he keeps the, the stripper ones to show us uh, what, you know, $100, what it really looks like, man. When you're just clicking numbers, in you know digital numbers all day and that's what's flying through your screens it's really really good for you to see physical money so i try to keep some physical money on my desk too before i go blow it all at the strip club or something <laughs> so alex what's up man shout out uh the coolest setup i've ever seen man seriously i'm telling you like the vertical i think uh austin you probably have a setup like that as well right i'm pretty sure the vertical is in man the vertical is in um, so that's, that's basically everything guys. So that's basically everything when it comes to chat, how to now what I want to do is, Oh, you got the horizontals like me. Okay, buddy. Um, what I want to do now guys is open this up to a Q and a, so anybody that has any questions about MIC, um, is in here already. I want you to type them out right here. Um, and what I'm obviously guys, I'm not going to do the raise hands this is going to be for members right now, but any questions that you guys have, I'm going to see them right here and just type them out and we'll talk for a second. Like, what'd you guys trade today? You know, 
what what maybe got you, what didn't get you. We can talk about hard stops, guys. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about. So if anybody has questions, maybe maybe people don't have questions. <laughs> that works too. Alex, what do you think? Should we, what, what should we talk about? What do you think? The, what do you think the members need to know right now? Aloha. Anybody? Any ideas? That was a long webinar. I've already been talking for an hour. And what's cool, guys, is you can see who's typing. So when Alex talks, you know, right here, you can see that he's actually typing. So yeah, let's get into a, let's get into a lot of stuff, guys. So um, slow days, hard stops, sticking to your process, phone calls. So the first things first is, like I said earlier, let me recap this again. We do phone calls every single day. So we've got a huge moderator list. We've got James. We've got myself. We've got Aloha. Even Alex does some every now and then. Um, we've got Joe Kelly. You know, D. Oliver does some. Guys, get us on the phone. If you are a new trader and you are struggling, see, one of the number one things that, that, um, that we wanted, so when we created MIC, we created everything at MIC the way we wanted is if we were a new trader. So, you know, when I was a part of other chat rooms way back in the day, you know, five years ago or whatever, before I tried to learn myself, because I just wasn't learning from them, is, dude, I would have killed to reach out to someone like me who's been trading for five years or Alex or Austin and be like, Austin, you know, what is float rotation? You know, what is this? Why did you see this here? Why did you take that trade? Guys, you can do that. And we can, not only are my PMs open all day or, you know, all of us, literally get us on a call. I will talk to you for 15 minutes on what I think you're doing wrong, what I think you're doing right. And the thing about process guys, so, you know, Alex is sticking to process. So this is Alex's process each morning. He gets up early enough to do his watch list. He writes out his watch list, he sets up his lines, and then he trades the first hour of the open, maybe an hour and a half. What is it, Alex? I think you end by, um, what time you end by 11 brother every single day or is it 1130? I know that Alex stops every single day at a certain time because he knows through back tested results that if he trades past a certain lull that he usually gives back money. So that's his process. So me or bow, you know, his tab partners can say, Hey Alex, it's that time to wrap it up. Maybe go do an IG live, keep yourself busy, maybe leave the house you know that you make all your money within the first hour, hour and a half. That's his specific process. My specific process, guys, is backside. Backside, backside, backside within the first hour and a half. So I'm done by um, 10, which is what, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. Um, and I, 10 my time, 10 my time, sorry. 10 Pacific Standard Time, I'm done. I don't like to trade beyond that. I like to kind of do a little bit more conviction swing. So if I have a really good average on something, I like to, and specifically if I have a good average and it's trading under VWAP and making new lows, I may hold that all day, but usually till about 10. And then I like to get my covers in and that's my process. So my process, I'm not a long bias trader. So if I'm longing or I'm trying to channel trade during a lull, that's against my process. That's not what works for me. I have a very specific rule of not trading anything under two to three to two million share floats. If it is a three million share float and I'm trading that, I have broken my process whether I make money or not. Because the thing about this game, guys, is, is I'm telling you, it's if you do what makes you money every day and you don't deviate and you set something like hard stops and max loss positions on the day, there's never a time where you really question your trading or get screwed or fucked over because dude, you have literally defined a certain guidelines that works for you over the course of years. And that's what we've done. And that's what we try to teach. So another thing is, you know, on slow days, guys, today was a really slow day. You know, Alex, I'm pretty sure you didn't trade today. I didn't trade today. There was nothing within our process. I didn't see any stocks that were worth it that had to borrow. And second, you know, like I think RWLK was on the reg show list. And also I wouldn't have traded that anyways. It's not my style of trade. I don't like stocks that are, you know, I, I just don't like stocks like RWLK. I like stocks like OBLN that have a history of just giving up every single day or, you know, the really crappy ones like VLAN or chat pumps or things like that that break down immediately. 
um, and go red. But the point is, is trading full time is not trading. Being a full time trader does not mean trading all the time. It doesn't even necessarily mean trading all day. Being a full-time trader, guys, is exercising discipline and patience to know that it's better to hit harder two or three times a week on your A-plus setups that you wait for rather than trying to squeeze water out of a rock every day and make a little bit of money and then at the, at the risk of taking a loss and then in taking that loss, it screws up your mental clarity and then going forward, you are absolutely wrecked even when your A-plus setups come. Dude, I'm telling you, man, mental clarity is as, or mental capital really, is as important as trading capital. And you have to very much combine the two in like this hybrid of like, dude, I know that I don't lose much, but when I lose, it really fucks up my mental. So when my mental screwed up, when my A plus comes around, dude, I, I'm having trouble already. So that's the whole point of trading. And this is any trader, guys, you'll find who you are. Um, in this game of kind of uptick and downtick and what works for you. And once you establish your process, the whole point is not deviating away from it. Um, next is hard stops, guys. This is the last thing um, I should really go into detail about. So um, I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, but let me, let me really talk about this. So hard stops, let me, let me introduce the reason why people don't like hard stops or bash them because this is why I did for five years. I was taught, you know, from the very beginning that, you know, market makers and you know the guys who are looking at level three do what's called stop loss hunting and try to you know manipulate and trigger a stock back up to trigger stop losses before it basically going back to organic price action and then so say if i'm short at 190 any stock you know ticker symbol xyz i'm short at 190 and i have a hard stop at two dollars well maybe you know the market makers get it to 201 and then it breaks down and it goes to like 98 cents by the end of the day right that's called what's what's called maybe they're doing stop loss hunting so they trigger all the stop losses everybody stop losses out and then it goes your way right like how many times does this happen to people or whether you're using a mental stop or a hard stop now here's the difference the reason why people bash hard stops and the reason why I didn't in the, in the in the past was because of the stop loss hunting but i figured out when I used only mental stops, do you know how many times me, Alex, Bao, Austin, I don't care who you are, if you are using mental stops, every now and then there's one that you do not obey. There's one that's not a hard stop, there's one that you do not obey and you let it balloon up and you're like, oh my God, okay, I'm gonna stop at it too. But I don't have a hard stop in, so now I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's up to me to click the cover button. So I'm short at 190, rips to two, that's my hard stop, and I, and I don't stop out when I should have, right? Like, that was my plan. Now it's at 210 in a blink. I freeze, and I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? You know, now it's ripping to 220. Now I'm absolutely frozen. I can't make up my mind. Now it's at 270. You take a loss, and by the time you take a lot, you're dead. This has happened to me so many times over the years, guys, where I'll be green for 25, 30 days, and one trade that I should have hard stopped out, I was, quote unquote, mentally stopping, which I didn't, it turned into a major, major, major balloon stop, um, and I was screwed. So the whole point is, guys, having a hard stop on your trades is, what are you worried about? Every now and then getting triggered on a stop loss hunting by a market maker and you get manipulated out, or being protected every single time so you never get destroyed. Um, I'd rather go with the latter. I'd rather go with the time that I never get destroyed. So I incorporate a hard stop on every single trade I do nowadays. And guess what? When I get in, my entries are usually pretty good, so I get in a stock. Then I set a hard stop, and I set my fantasy covers, and I walk away. I focus on members. I almost close my computer. Whatever hits, I'm protected. You do, oh, Val's talking about it right now. So here's an example. So if you use mental stop, Val says, I can guarantee you that you will stop out much higher than you intended because you freeze. That's what I was just talking about, guys, the freeze factor. So here's an example. If your stock is at 720 and you want to stop out at 750, right? It spikes past 820. Dude, you're frozen. Then it turns to nine and you are taking a loss that could have been, guys, could have been nothing. It could have been a, a very small loss that maybe you anticipate daily. I, whatever your account size you're using, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're using $10 million. I don't care if you're using $300. 
if you are using the hard stuff, you are guaranteed to be protected. Now, of course, there are slippage because I use a market stop every time, which there could be some slippage in a teleport candle or something. Limit stops do not guarantee you out. Market stops do. But here's the thing. I used to let stocks run a dollar against me before I learned hard stops. Now, okay, what's a little slippage here and there? I'm never in danger of ending myself. So this is the thing we teach new members, guys, is not only will we teach you strategies of how to trade, you know, one of our curriculums is day one, we like the first bounce strategy. It's the best strategy for new members on the long side who cannot get access to locates or maybe have small accounts. Next, if you are short biased or you want to short as well, we have day one death line shorts. They are a very safe trade in the sense that it's the last support for the day and longs are in trouble and it's kind of used as an over, under, and second, low hangers for day two, three, four, using the pivot line. So my whole point, guys, is if you incorporate our strategies at MIC, whether it's the first bounce, the death line, and place hard stops and also simultaneously a um, what's called a max loss number on the day, which you can call your broker. You can call your broker for two different things, literally. You can call them to cut your buying power for the day if you feel you're revenge trading or you can't control yourself, or you can literally have them set a stop to where you can only lose a certain amount, whether it's 300, whether it's 3,000. I don't know your account size and it doesn't matter, but you need to protect yourself. So <laughs> that was a long rant on stops, but I think it's pretty much the most important thing going around right now and what we need to make sure uh, that you are studying because I don't ever want to get a PM of someone saying that they blew their entire account on something like RWLK when a hard stop would have literally only lost them maybe one eighteenth of their account rather, I don't know, their whole thing. I've had, you know, unfortunately, you know, there's so many members, there's someone probably going to break the rules and we are like broken records to keep you guys safe and to keep us safe in our own trading. So when I say all these things, you know, it helps me even in my trading every single day because I reinforce what we're teaching. Uh, let's see, let me go back a little bit. Um, one of the uh, interaction was rare, you may get questions. Yes, yes, so guys, if, uh, if we don't get back to you um, someday, hit us up again, maybe we wouldn't see it. We get so many messages a day. Um, always, always, always have a follow-up, and specifically on one-on-ones. So if I can't, if I have a flurry of people who are sending me DMs like, hey, Tosh, I wanna call today, if like 10 people, then I'll schedule, you know, I'll try to do as many as I can today, whether it's like maybe six or seven, depending on the time. And then I will schedule them for the next day. So you are never ignored. You are never left alone, guys. We 100% will get back to you. And if you don't hear from us by some weird random chance, the guys just hit us up again, seriously. Uh, where was the uh, best bounce area on RWLK this morning in pre-market? You know, the thing about, the thing that blew is what we do, bro, is we do not recommend pre-market trading. So the number one thing that we recommend for um, for new traders is intraday specifically because pre-market trading can be very illiquid. And even if it's not illiquid, the way a chart, we want intraday because the, the volume is there. And specifically, if the volume is there, it has conformed to the daily or and or the pre-market areas. So we focus on intraday trading specifically. Uh, Yes, yes, Bow talks about or worse, add, add, add. That is the worst thing you can do to a loser is it's ripping against you is add, add, add to a loser. It balloons up, it's past your stop. You didn't respect your mental and then you're dead, dude. Like in this game, it takes one trade to end your career. You can't make your entire career on one trade, but you can end it. I mean, Bow's the closest thing that ever came to making his career in one trade and that was Fannie Mae, but he, he would tell you himself that, dude, one trade isn't gonna make you. You have to, it's a grind. This game is a grind. You show up every day, you stick to what works, and you're, it's not a lottery, guys. It's not a lottery. We're going to show you every day on how to, how to do the best that you can be by doing the best that we can be, you know, for ourselves. And, and there's some mimicking going on in the sense that, like, you know, maybe you short death candles like me, maybe you short interview op, or maybe you short daily resistance like Alex, or maybe you short low hangers like Bao, or long first bounces like Bao, whatever it is is you back test your own strategies and find what works for you. And then you can really start to identify your identity in this game. And then it's up to you to show up each day and really, really, really hone in on your specific process. 
and make sure that you're just doing what works for you, man. Just doing what works for you. Um, shoot, anybody, uh, let's see. Anybody else have questions or I can just go back, I can go into more topics. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good day today. Hope everybody learned something from this webinar. <laughs> We're here for you, man. MIC is the place to be. Ali, what's up? Greetings, everyone. Appreciate all of you have a couple questions regarding time and sales. Go for it, buddy. That was the king of tape, man. Now we got you live, man. You want to answer these? I barely even watch tape when I trade, guys. I, I, I watch tape, but I barely even do. I, I'm, I'm just, man, I play the lines, man. I'm telling you. I tried this. I tried to get on tape for so many years, and it was, it was just, I don't know. I, I, I can read time and sales, but I'm not. Hold on, Val. Let me see how I can do this. Let me click you. Val, how do I get you on? Maybe I can get you on talking. I've never pulled someone on the webinar before. Let's see if we can get Bow on somehow. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> Shit, I don't either. Uh, I think you need to make him a panelist or presenter. Uh, maybe I go to participants. Hmm. Not sure how I would do that. Oh, uh, in the participants. Uh, well, here, here I'm in the participants bow. So let's see. Do I just? Uh, I'm curious on what the difference is. Attendees. Oh, okay. Nice. Yo, you hear me? Oh, Val, what's up, buddy? Dude. This is sick. All right, can you hear me? I think, am I coming in better than Tosh? Tosh sounds like he's underwater, dude. Do I? How do I sound? Dude, you sound fantastic. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what's going on, guys? So who, who's in? I can't see the participant list. How many people are in? Here, Val, right here. Hold on. We got 45 people in right now. We had a lot more, but um, we've been talking for like over an hour. What was the maximum attendance? I was just kind of curious. I think we had like 55 at one point or something like that. But here's the attendees that you can see them right here. We You're a rock star, boy. You got 55 people. <laughs> got a ton of people in here, man. Thanks for coming in, guys. All right. Are you, anybody got any questions? So I was talking to uh, Austin, a little trader earlier, and – and he, li he loves that concept. He's the one that brought up the idea to Alex about bringing a guest speaker each week. So this week is you, Tosh. Congratulations. You've been nominated. <laughs> I'm excited, man. Me and, me and, uh, so, yeah, guys. So I didn't mention this earlier, but um, Austin gives a webinar every Thursday. And correct me if I'm wrong, Austin, but I think it's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which we are going to do a guest appearance of me this week and he's going to start bringing on people weekly so it's gonna be a lot of fun guys so tomorrow um it's 7 p.m eastern standard time me and austin are going to do something like this hello yep now can you hear yep 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 so because the reason i want to bring tosh on is because uh well, we don't want, we want to talk briefly about stops and stuff. So I wanted Tosh to talk about his strategy, how he trades, because I really like the way he trades. His way is the way that these prop guys of these firms are doing it. So, you know, he's going to talk about it. So make sure you guys attend this Thursday. Tosh is going to talk about his strategy, and I really like the way he trades. He has very, very good habits now. For a new trader, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be doing what Tosh is doing. He would enter the trade. He'd be very patient, set up his lines, and he'll enter the trade. What he does well is this. When, it's, when it starts to go down in his favor and he's in the money, he takes half off. And then when he takes half off, he puts the rest onto a trailing stop or some sort of stop loss, and he lowers it down. So he can leave the room. He can go take a piss. He can do whatever he wants. And the stock will work 
uh, you know, itself for him. Dude, that's exactly right. I can literally, dude, it's stress-free. Not only does it take emotions out of the trade, guys, it literally, it, it's not up to me anymore. So usually I've always kind of, and no bragging whatsoever, because I could care less about that. My entries have always been pretty good. My exits has always been shit. So what I do is because a hard stop exits when I'm not in the money or my fantasy covers that I think I can nail, but now it's not up to me. So I set my stops and I walk away. Now, when I say walk away, I'm not, I'm not always walking away from my computer, but I could. And then now it's up to the machine. So I come back and I'm like, oh, it covered 3,000 shares here or, or it covered 2,000, whatever, you know, whatever. So I like to get in a stock after a certain death candle or a certain trend line break in the backside, then I usually get a nice wash, pay myself half, and then I immediately set up for the rest of the position really, really good fantasy covers in the money or, um, or a hard stop out basically almost just above my average. So when I do take a loss, it's usually just within my morning gains that are cushioned. And this is kind of like what Bao was saying, a prop from Trader Two is to protect themselves both sides. And it elimin- if you're an emotional person like me, do you need to set these in place so it's not up to you anymore. So I'm not stressing over the time and sales. I'm not stressing over the tape. I'm not watching every freaking tick. Dude, I'll walk away. Yep, yep. And that, that's what, exactly why I want to show – Everybody, how you do it, because it's going to be great, man, because everybody trades differently. You know, there's similar concepts that we all use, like technical analysis, risk management, things like that. But to see it in action, man, that, and that, that's why we, we're holding the, the live trading. The live trading is not going to be me, man. Austin's going to be there. Tosh is there. I don't want to take the stage 24-7. No way. <laughs> I want to bring up the people the other guys, they are going to run the show, man. I'm just there to facilitate and introduce everybody. So so each week we're going to have a, a guest. So we're going to have Tosh and then Alex will come and then I'll come along too, man. One of the weeks I'm going to come in with Austin and talk about what I do. Everybody does things differently, man. You see know what I'm saying? As long as you're consistently profitable in whatever strategy you do, that that's the way to do it. First, you know, master one niche, like I say. Uh, learn from everybody, man. You don't have to copy every style they do but you get the best components for each person that matches your own style. And that's the key, man. The key is not to become Bao Jr. or Tosh Jr., right? The key is to become the best trader you can be, but based upon take the best elements of each, each uh, experienced mentor. That's so awesome, man. And then, like I said earlier, guys, like, like Bao just said, and then once you figure out your process, whatever that is, whether it's Bao style, mine, Joe Kelly's, it doesn't matter. Now it's up to you to consistently follow it each day and make money, whatever you took from any trader that you follow, but it's up to you to follow your process. So it's discipline, man. It's discipline every day. Yep, yep. So I'll be great, man. Thanks for running this. And uh, anybody else can talk. Uh, anybody have questions, we can answer the questions now. Okay, if not, I'll, I'll t- I'm going to turn it back to Tosh. Yep, thanks, Val. I guess I just disable talking. <laughs> yeah, so any more questions, guys, write them out. Um, if anybody, I guess if anybody wants to come on, maybe we can do that. Thanks for attending, guys. Seriously, this is super cool, man. I love seeing all you guys. We'd love to... We'd love to meet you in Philly, man. Come on out, become an annual or a lifetime, and we can uh, we can meet you guys. Well, guys, I think if that's all the questions today, we've uh, we've definitely wrapped everything up. I think we've pretty much gone through everything that is MIC, what we stand for, um, how to maneuver in chat. Um, just one last sec. Any any last minute questions? Thanks, Alex. Guys, this was so much fun today. Seriously, thank you for showing up. I hope everybody learned at least something today. Um, and if you are not, if you are not a member of MIC, then guys, do not hesitate. Again, let me write it out. Do not hesitate to reach out to Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Um, email me anything, questions, guys. Um, you know about the Philly event, questions about sign up. If you want to see what the members are saying, check out the MIC IG page. Um, we do webinars guys every week. We do calls, we do daily recaps. 
Um, we have endless content for you guys coming all the time. So we pride ourselves on basically never taking a day off, not sleeping. And we do it for you guys. We do it for you guys because we know that um, you're trusting us. So we, um, we, we go back and just try to make sure that you guys are 100% taken care of, whether it's down to communication, whether it's down to content, whether it's down to the main trading chat, which I didn't really show you guys an example of today. Like, just check this out, guys. Like, we've got members talking all day. Myself, Bao, Alex, specifically Bao, is in all day from morning to close usually with just spot on commentary the coolest ideas, you know, his, his entries and exits, I guess. Oh, Bao, you degenerate. You did get some SRRA. Nice. Dude, that was a chase, man, but I love it. He nailed it. Um, that thing went super red today. So guys, this is just super cool, man. This is a uh, Austin. This is Austin's trade today in RWOK. Great job. So as you guys can see, man, it's just fun. Just, we, we have a ton of fun, man. <laughs> we don't usually post the stuff in Maine. That goes in after hours, but here's all the fun too. Here's all the fun too, guys. Tons of fun. Go back to new member. <laughs> this is today. This is our group chat. So Val goes to Alex. He goes, no me anywhere. Fuck me another time to go drink, Alex. It's 642 in the morning there. <laughs> Dude, that doesn't stop a veteran like Val, right? Oh, I love it. I love it. Val was supposed to leave four hours ago. Yeah, Val, your tab's mad at you, man. <laughs> well, guys, this has been an absolute pleasure of all of ours at MIC, especially mine. Um, love you guys. I, if you are not a member, I hope you become one. Um, if not, then good luck on your journey. Maybe we'll see you in the future. And anyone who is a member, dude, keep kicking ass, man. Ali, thanks for showing up, buddy. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. Everyone enjoy your day. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.